Are you over there showing off your your computer? Co- I'm putting blinky things? lights on. Yeah, blinky yeah. lights. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doreen with Detroit Arms slash Cloud Bedrock. Thank you for joining us this evening. I um getting a little started a little early because I'm excited to get this message out to everyone. Just um a quick question to the crowd. How many of you have viewed and or attended our other webinars? Can you just uh, answer in the chat for me? Just so I know uh, where we're at with everyone. First timer, thanks, Rich. Wow, first one, all right. Um, We do have a platform where you can view past webinars that we've hosted for USCCA instructors. Um, Basically, I started out with my story, uh, the story of Detroit Arms, how I came to be. Uh, I've been doing this 15 years in a uh, crazy competitive market. And um, some of the lessons that I learned when I uh, started advertising my classes, not just on social media, but all around town. Some of the things that have worked haven't worked. We've covered Google um, and making sure that you have a Google My Business profile. Is that what it's called? It's called Google Business Listing or something, but that you have a Google profile and some of the easy ways to advertise on Facebook that won't actually cost any money. So we've gone down a couple of those paths And tonight I wanna talk to everybody about um, creating online webinars or online classes, teaching and things of that nature. I know that uh, the rules for teaching gun classes across the nation are dependent upon state law. Um, The state of Michigan allows me to teach the first five hours of our Michigan CPL class um, online. And then there is a three hour segment that I'm required to do in person. I have uh, done thousands of students via online training for the first five hours of class. I've never taken it and um, turned it into an online class where they could log in and do 24 seven training just because I don't want to give up that personal one-on-one attention that you get with being able to interact with the student um, as they're going through the curriculum. So, So I haven't done that, but I have taken a number of other classes that we do and turned them into online classes. And I'm going to go through a little bit of this with everyone on um, on the uh, call with us today. So my technical director that's sitting next to me is messing with my screen. And I'm not sure what y'all are seeing, but uh, let's see here. There we go. All right. So here's my fancy dancy uh, slide. So you're saying to yourself, why online? Isn't in person better? Um, that depends. That depends on the curriculum. I find that there's some curriculum that is just as easily delivered online as it is delivered in person. It's convenient, it's flexible, it widens your market. Uh, The biggest thing it does for you is it establishes your credibility. It puts you out there uh, as an instructor, as a person who is um, well-versed in their craft. It monetizes your knowledge and classes can be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, This is a game changer for me and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why. Here's some statistics that I just didn't make up, um, but you will find that there is a $457 billion market in the e-learning market and that 70% of students in, I can tell you that this this is true, that they agree that online classes are better than traditional learning. I find, especially with something as divisive as guns, firearms, what we do for a living, that a lot of people are afraid to come into a classroom with people. And I'm, I guess I'm kind of taking this out of context. There are a lot of women who are afraid to come into a classroom in a room full of men because that's how they perceive a CPL class is structured. 
and they are afraid to come and ask a question that might be perceived as stupid. So um, I'm going to tell you that a lot of students are interested in logging on and attending some type of online training just because of the anonymity of it. They, they don't have to show their face. They don't have to um, tell people who they are in order to ask ask or answer, have a question answered for them. 98% uh, of US corporations here have uh, incorporated online learning. And um, if you're a greenie, 90% less energy is used for that. So um, I'm going to say that 98% of com or 93% plan to adopt online learning, and that's probably where you're at right now. And that 42% um, of companies who use online learning generate more income. And I can tell you that from my personal experience. Here's some proof. Uh, I snapped this when I was doing the um, slide deck for this the other day. Um, this is an example of what I'm making while I sleep. You can look at some of the times that people purchased CPL or this is CPL renewal class, but the time at which some of these people purchase class, it's, you know, three in the morning, it's in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, you can't control what other people's schedules are or what's convenient for them. And these people are coming to me for training at all hours of the day. And you say, well, what did they buy? It was just a little video that I created, a little three-hour video, but it was a video that I created called the Three-Hour Michigan uh, Concealed Pistol Renewal Course. And in the state of Michigan, in order to renew your Michigan CPL, Concealed Pistol License, you're required to do a three-hour uh, review of training and you're required to have been shooting for an hour in the six months that precedes your application. You can do that training self-study. You can do that training by taking a class, but it's really up to the applicant how they're going to do that class. So what I did was I put up a quick funnel page. And if you don't know what a funnel page is, it is a just a basic website where I send people and they look at what it is I have to offer. And I give them information on the class. I answer some questions right on the page. And then I funnel them into how it is that they feel like they want to learn. I have in-person classes. I do a three hour in-person class twice a month and I charge $50 for that. I have an online self-paced video. That is a three hour commitment as well. It is $37.95 and they can log in and they can watch it one segment at a time. They can watch the whole thing all the way through. It's up to them. And I also have a printable ebook that I wrote that I use to base the online video. And that's available. I think it's $14.99 right now. And they can download that and read it at their convenience. Uh, we have a couple of different courses uh, that we offer online and it's growing all the time. Uh, my most popular at the moment is the three hour CPL online. We also have the real estate agent safety course, which is a USCCA based course. Uh, just to give you an idea of what a course looks like for me, um, this is when they log in, this is what a client sees. They see the chapters of the uh, video itself. They can click on them. Uh, they can watch them as often or as little as they want. And the computer program that I use keeps track of, um, you know, how, how far along they've done. They can mark each chapter as completed, excuse me, and so, so on and so forth. You see, I have some additional videos at the end. We do the whole dialing 911 uh, thing. That's not a requirement for the state of Michigan to tell them how to handle a 911 call. Uh, we do some <clears throat> talking on reciprocity, as well as a quick overview of the course. So it's like, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them what you're going to tell them, and then tell them what you told them. And so that's what we have set up in our thing. Um, the course itself is predominantly a um, a PowerPoint or a keynote uh, presentation where I am not 
on camera, I'm actually just doing the voiceover and making the commenting of the slides that I've prepared for the course itself. Uh, State of Michigan doesn't have a set uh, requirement for how somebody needs to do the three hours review. It can be self-study. It can be, you know, they can just Google it for that, that matter. Um, but they do have things that need to be covered as far as what would um, constitute a CPL class. So that's just what I use to base my slides and my information on. Uh, we also recorded the real estate agent safety course, which is a USCCA course. Um, I have instructors other than myself on staff here at Detroit Arms, and one of my instructors recorded it, and uh, we sell that as well, and we're literally making money while we sleep. There are people who are logging on. They're watching these things um, all hours of the day and night, whenever it's convenient for them, um, and so now you're thinking to yourself, well, this just seems too easy. Uh, how can I do it? Um, Here's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to let you know that uh, Jim tried to put me on this path many, 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 many years ago. My initial um, offering with things that were auto delivered that weren't something that I did in person was when I wrote a book for CPL preparation or the concealed pistol license preparation. I just wrote a little guide. Uh, for my students, and it basically covered um, what it was that they needed to do in preparation of the class. It had some vernacular in there, a bunch of uh, explanations of what they could expect for the day, how they should dress for the day, how the day was going to progress, things of that nature. If they were going to transport a firearm, uh, how they should properly transport a firearm. In the state of Michigan, they require that you register a firearm. So I wanted to make sure that if somebody was in fact transporting a firearm, that it was registered to them. Otherwise, you know, they're transporting a gun illegally, things like that. Um, I told him, you know, I'm not a writer. I don't, I do, you know, I've done book reports and that's about it. And he urged me to do it. So I did it and I give it to my students and they are, um, really happy with that product. So my next thing was, well, everybody's, you know, needing to renew their CPL license. Maybe I should write a book about that. And I didn't for the longest time. It was just a confidence thing. It wasn't that I didn't know what I wanted to say. It was just a confidence thing. And um, one day I just put it out there for sale. And then all of a sudden I'm making, you know, 50, 60, a hundred dollars a day selling uh, the book. So I would routinely get people asking me, uh, listen, I don't want to read a book. That's not how I like to learn. I don't want to come to class because it's from six to nine at night. And um, that's just not convenient for me. Uh, they didn't want to attend a full day CPL class with us um, in order to glean the information because that wasn't how they wanted to spend their time either. And so uh, he said, well, why wouldn't you record the stuff online? And I was like, dude, I'm not a Hollywood producer. Um, I, I have a face for radio, honestly, and um, this isn't going to work for me. And all he did was say, hey, you have a camera, you have a microphone, you can put on a clean shirt and brush your hair and it's going to be showtime and we're going to do this. And so basically I just had to get over myself. And so in the course of recording these things, he's come up with a way that makes it really easy for me to say, Hey, I have an idea for a course. Um, some of the courses that I put out there and some of the videos that I put out there are not state state mandated information. Um, it's things that I just think of. It's frequently asked questions. It's informational stuff. Um, and he's made it so that it really takes less time than you think. You would think that if you were to call a local studio and tell them that you wanted to record some video, they're going to drag it out. They're going to drag it out and tell you how complicated this is, how much studio time you need, things like that. And that's really not the case. Um, the USCCA already has 
uh, a bunch of produced class material in your instructor portal where they've developed the curriculum for a class that you can offer as a mini class. And um, you don't have to put all this stuff together. That way your students are um, able to learn when it's convenient for them. Uh, the Cloud Bedrock platform, which for those of you who've never joined us before, Cloud Bedrock is a company that my husband owns, Jim. He was briefly on the call when we started. And uh, he has some personalized software for USCCA instructors. It's really for any firearm instructor, but software that um, helps put all of this together. And then um, as far as how you collect money, I collect it on the same Stripe account that I have attached to my USCCA website. So my point is, and this is what he uh, always said to me, was that you can either have results or you can have excuses. And that 90% of the failures in life come from people who have habits of making excuses. And I am the queen of excuses. I can't go on today because I have bad hair. I can't go on today because I have a scratchy voice. But I made a bunch of excuses about why I couldn't do things. Um, here are some of the content ideas that the USCCA has put out there. Every single one of these um, ideas is a course that the USCCA has offered to you in a PowerPoint presentation in your instructor portal. So you don't even have to create a presentation. All you have to do is pick one and record it. Um, here's some original ideas. I do classes um, all the time here at Detroit Arms, whether it's firearm cleaning, whether it's situational awareness, whether it's um, is a CPL for me. And these are just some of the ideas of classes that we've done uh, in person and online. I have a course that I've introduced recently uh, in the state of Michigan. If you lose your CPL license, the courts are going to mandate you to go back through a gun safety course in order to supply the court with the information that you have taken a course, you understand it. The renewal course probably fits that bill, but what I did was I uh, created it as a Zoom lesson. I charge $50 and these students join me at their convenience and we go over the PowerPoint presentation that I did for the CPL class. That way they don't uh, need to come to a class. If it's something that they can only do at three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm available. But these are some of the other classes that we have um, done with some of the online stuff. So at the end of the day, you're the star and uh, you have knowledge you should monetize it. So a lot of courses that I do, I have an introduction to handguns course. I use those as leader courses. The same thing with the um, real estate agent safety class. I find myself uh, going around to real estate offices in the metropolitan Detroit area. I meet with them for their sales meetings. A lot of them host regular lunch and learns where they're looking for a speaker. Uh, the information for the real estate agent safety course could really be used for anyone in a situational uh, safety course. But I once a week I'm in front of 50 realtors, letting them know how it is that they can keep themselves safe in their job. That's a leader course for me. Sometimes I charge $10 to attend because if people don't have skin in the game, they'll say they're coming, but they're, they won't. Um, but I use these as leader courses to get people into my classes. If I do charge for a um, class like introduction to handguns or the like, I will offer that class, you know, $10, $20. And many times I'll offer in exchange for attending the class that you receive a coupon for attending a CPL class. So um, the students come then to your in-person classes better prepared. You don't have those people showing up for your class in tank tops and flip flops and low cut shirts and not understanding what the an acronym ACP means. And you don't spend as much time explaining yourself. Um, students are less threatened by online content um, and they're just apt to sign up to see what it's all about. 
I know that I have a lot of people, Michigan has open carry available. Uh, it's a great way to explain to them what the differences are between open carry and concealed carry. Um, it establishes, again, your credibility. It highlights your personal knowledge and your teaching style. These can go on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it allows people to think, hey, I could sit and listen to this person for eight hours because that's what they're going to get when they sign up with us. So the reality is, if you can dream it, you can do it. You don't need a fancy studio. You don't need any special equipment to do it. You see this person here is recording. I think she's selling paintbrushes or pens or something using her cell phone. Uh, you don't need a special beauty routine. I am uh, proof positive of that. All you need is the ability to form words, adequate content, and you have that available to you already. And uh, here again are some of the content ideas from the USCCA. And um, all of those mini classes that I just showed you in the previous slide, all you need to do is voice over the content. So it's really no different than sitting in a classroom and speaking to people uh, who are all sitting in chairs that you're paying for. Uh, it's people who are at home listening to your content. Here's an example of an ad that came through my phone just this morning. Uh, this ad came through, it's an online class this Sunday. So I'm guessing they're doing it um, live. It's possible that it's recorded, but this is a USCCA instructor who is hosting a situational awareness class. They're charging $20 a student for people to come to this class. It's absolute genius. People are apt to sit at home on a Sunday morning and want to tune in and learn about uh, situational awareness and safety now that we have the holidays upon us and daylight savings time upon us and it's getting dark out at five o'clock and um, people just need to learn how to be safe. Uh, here's some of the other classes that this same instructor is hosting online and you can see what they're charging. I don't know what the student count for a number of you are but there are many instructors out there who are hosting classes, uh, the concealed carry class in their home. And so they're only able to get six or 12 students through a class. And so being able to put other things online that generate income really is helpful to your bottom line. So the point is you can do it. Um, how Cloud Bedrock is, Again, the company that I told you my husband owns, and we have a limited time offer for everyone on this call. Uh, here's some of the pricing information for the Cloud Bedrock app. And I know that I have a number of newbies on here, so I wanna just take a minute and let you know some of the things that uh, this Cloud Bedrock app is able to do for you. Uh, it is a multi-platform application. It can be used on your desktop. The most important part for me with the Cloud Bedrock app, and I'm going to show you here, I'm going to put my phone up for you, is the ability to get everything you need on your cell phone. Uh, you see that we're talking here in the pricing for the app, reputation management tools. Those are some tools that are built into the app to help you manage your reputation. If you've joined our class on Google and you joined our class on Facebook, um, those classes speak a lot to managing customer reviews and how important it is, especially on Google, to have clients leaving you reviews of your class and then you responding to those reviews. It is not unusual if you are not logged into Google or logged into Facebook to have somebody contact you or leave you a review and you don't even know it's there until you log in and grab that review or grab that message. And the reputation management program allows that review to come through on my cell phone. I can answer right to that review immediately and get it posted onto whatever platform it needs to be on. And um, 
if I have somebody who has maybe something a little less stellar to say than I'd like to see. Of course, I want five-star reviews on everything, but I did have one student earlier this year who decided that the USCCA curriculum won the sales pitch that um, the USCCA did in the beginning of our class sounded like a condo salesman. And then two, they felt like the information that we gave them with regard to uh, the incident in New Orleans was politically motivated, which it's not. It's just facts. Um, I had to refute that those comments and just say, hey, listen, you know, these are facts and and these are what happened in the past. And this is what a concealed carry pistol license holder or a gun owner, for that matter, may experience. So I was able to do that. Um, the biggest thing that saves me time every day on the Cloud Bedrock app is the auto callback feature. And you'll see that a couple features down here. And then of course the web chat. The auto text back feature is a feature of the app that if somebody were to call me, um, I am a one person show. I am the receptionist. I am the janitor. I am the procurement officer for everything. I'm an instructor. I'm the person cleaning up after the class. I'm all of that. And so I'm a busy person. My phone rings starting at eight o'clock in the morning and it rings till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And it's not unusual for me to get a phone call in the middle of the night. Um, I don't have staff. I do have instructors on, on staff. I have range safety officers, but they're not doing any of the business stuff. They're just showing up, they're teaching a class and they're going home. Me, I'm the one running everything behind the scenes and you all know how much work that can be. So I'm on the phone a lot and I'm getting those phone calls stacked up. And it, to be honest, if somebody is just Googling concealed pistol license training in Metro Detroit, there's an instructor literally on every corner here. And so if I don't answer that phone when they call me, they're just going to hang up and call the next instructor on the list until they get someone who gives them the answer that they want or someone who's there to sell them the class on a date that they're looking for. What the uh, auto text back does is it pulls in the information of who my caller is via caller ID. Um, it tells me who called, what time they called, and even if they don't leave me a message, it gives them a text back to say, hey, sorry, I missed your call. Uh, what can I help you with? And it allows me that 20, 30 seconds I need to be able to hang up the call that I'm already on or pick up the phone that I left in the other room when I went to go be janitor in the restrooms and uh, get back to that client. It gives them enough pause to say, hey, they reached out to me right away. I'm going to give it a second and I can either text them back or I can press a button on my phone and it will call them back from my business number. I'm not calling them back from my cell phone number, even though it's on my cell phone. And uh, the reason that's important is you find yourself in an infinite uh, call loop when you call somebody back from a number that they don't recognize. So they called my business line. The call is coming back from my business line and it's keeping the uh, entire record of calls in, calls out on my cell phone so that I can track how many times I spoke to a person, what I spoke to them about, et cetera, et cetera. I spend a large amount of my day also web chatting with individuals. Uh, that's a huge feature for me. I've got web chat on my uh, website. I've got it on my Google page. I've got it everywhere that I can have it. The reason I have it everywhere I can have it is you have people who would much rather chat with you, do something in writing, than they would just pick up a phone and call. Maybe they're in a cube farm at work and they don't want to hear the person in the cubicle next to them, hearing them calling around booking gun classes. So I spend an exorbitant amount of time chatting with people who have gone to my Facebook page, who have gone to my website, who have gone to Google and giving them the information that they need. 
this is a great way uh, for people to contact you. Maybe they don't want to pick up a phone and call and it's uh, non-intrusive and it keeps track of all of those chats in one place. In the past, I had to be logged into my website in order to see web chats come through. In the past, I had to be able to be logged into my um, Facebook page in order to see chats coming through. The beauty of that is if I'm in front of a student or I'm on the range with a student or whatever, um, I can also assign those chats to be answered by someone else. And I know that the majority of us are small business owners, but I can say to Jim, hey, listen, I'm going to be on the range with a student for the next hour. If somebody chimes in and wants to know where my schedule is or what my schedule is, or I get the same redundant questions all day long. Uh, is there still room in this weekend's class? Whatever. Uh, he's able to answer those for me until I'm able to resume my time on the phone. So you see all these great things that are offered there, but in our $4.97 a month package for the app, there were a couple of products that make the whole recording and presenting online training available. And I know we're all small business owners, $4.97 a month might seem like a lot of money, but I'm telling you that it is paying for itself in no time. What we've done is a limited time offer. And um, part of that limited time offer is that you're going to get a chance to utilize the websites and funnels, which is um, how I funnel people into my online classes and a membership course, which is the ability to host different courses. You record them, they go up on our servers, you connect your Stripe account to them, you collect money, people are paying you uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week to see who you are. We're putting that into the 197 a month package uh, for the month of December, just because I want to help my other CPL instructors, my other USCCA instructors out there get a jump on 2023. It's got to be our year. So uh, I'm putting that into the 197 a month package. I've showed you uh, what I make in the course of a slow day. Um, our renewal letters for the state of Michigan go out at the first week of the month. So I can anticipate um, starting today and for the next couple days to get a lot of activity on my renewal website. Some people do like to do in person. I host in person classes twice a month. They typically range around a dozen people. A dozen people for three hours at $50 a head isn't chump change. Uh, a dozen people at $37.95 and I don't have to do anything is even better. So um, the state of Michigan does require range time, but that's not something that has to be done in the um, presence of an instructor. I know that some states require that. Um, if Michigan were one of those states, I would simply put range days on my schedule and then funnel everybody into a particular day or time for doing um, range time. So that is my offer to you. I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of uh, this. The 197 a month is crazy and expensive when you consider what some other packages out there um, that would help you create, host, collect uh, video. Jim, are you uh, on the call? Maybe you can explain some of the other software packages out there. Yeah. Yeah, before I do, there were some questions uh, oh, okay. from some of the folks. Uh, I'm not sure if you you have the Q and A or the the, the chat I, I up, do, but, but but I was most, looking at my screen. Yeah, yeah. So, so most of the questions are surrounding the questions around: Is it okay to use USCCA material for online courses, including on demand use? Uh, yes, there seems to yeah. And yes. It, They are recorded. It's just like any other video, e-learning video that you may download and watch. That's the other bonus is that they're able to download it. It's viewable on any, uh, any device, iOS, Android, whatever, and they're able to download it and watch it anywhere they are. So it's, it's perfect.
Uh, yeah, you can post anything you want. Uh, you're not hosting it on the USCCA website, but you are able to make that offering in your courseware. Uh, I often put up my uh, Michigan CPL renewal on demand class in the USCCA instructors portal. So if somebody is searching for that on the uh, website, it it co collects that information. Yeah. Me, and that's uh, not even I, that's not even a USCCA course as well, right? The um, right, right, yeah. So that, that you're not required to have it be uh, right. you know, specific. It's just courses. But that yes, you're I do off. advertise it. I do advertise it on there, and um, I'm not using those students toward my student count just because my in person classes one class will often cover my student count for the year. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm not relying on these students who are doing my on demand for my student count. I'm relying on them as a lead magnet and I'm relying on them as a source of income for, for me. When I'm not teaching, I'm still teaching. Let me see here. Are most of my classes funneled from the CPL? No, actually, it's the other way around. Um, I put out in Facebook groups, and I covered this in the Facebook. I do advertising in Facebook groups. So we live in Chesterfield, Michigan. We work in Chesterfield, Michigan. That is in Macomb County, Michigan. If you go to Facebook and you search for groups and then you find a group for wherever it is you're located, uh, you can put up ads and you can put up information and interact with people in the group to let them know about classes that you have. So for example, uh, there's a Macomb County uh, users group. It's the Macomb County residents. There's 40,000 people logged into this group. I will often throw up an advertisement and say, hey, I'm hosting a free community safety event. It's online. Here's how you register. And it will be the curriculum for not necessarily the real estate safety course, but I have a separate um, be prepared kind of curriculum and it will walk them through making the decision if a CPL is right for them. And it will give them situational awareness ideas. It will kind of touch on getting your home prepped. It will be strong on making sure they understand that even if you don't have a CPL, taking a CPL class is important if you are a gun owner. And the reason for that is you need to know what your state laws are with regard to the use of lethal force and what self-defense is in the state that you live in. And the idea that they're going to take a CPL class but not yet get a CPL seems kind of ridiculous. But the fact is, if you use a firearm, even in your own home, and it's not according to what the state says is legal, you're going to find yourself costing a whole lot more than $99, which is what I charge for a class. And it's a preventative measure. And so a lot of these classes that I put out there are free or low cost. And it's the goal is to funnel them to my CPL class. Wow, this keeps going. I can't read this fast, you guys. So you're uh, no, uh, you know, here's the thing with Facebook. Um, <laughs> I have been shut down by uh, their fact checkers and the fact that I've had uh, weapons in my ads many, many times. Uh, you don't have to have a firearm. It, my, my company logo has a firearm in it. Um, you don't have to have a firearm in it to draw somebody's attention. I've for the first six months of this year was shut off of Facebook because they didn't like some of the memes that I had to offer on Facebook. And I explained to everyone how you don't build your home on uh, land that you don't own. And I had put an awful lot of money into advertising on Facebook and things like that. I got my identity back. I got my ability to post again back. And the USCCA, if you look in your instructor portal, they have an area where they have ads that they developed. 
and uh, verbiage that they develop that we can use to advertise uh, concealed carry classes. And so just for grins, I took their photograph, which clearly is a picture of a person with a firearm on their side. They have their hand on the firearm, but it is identifiable as a firearm. And I did a promoted post with it. I used the USCCA's verbiage. I've done a promoted post and it's still running to this day. Um, it, did, it never did get kicked back for that. And if you watch the Facebook presentation that we did, it was a week or two ago. Um, it covers what the regulations are for use of um, photographs and what type of photographs and how we can use those. And it's completely legal for us to use them. Now, to put a gun out there and offer it for sale, that's another story. Um, I know that many of us are FFLs in addition to being trainers and legally we're able to sell firearms and ammo, but Facebook just really takes exception to the fact that um, we're promoting the sale of uh, firearms and ammo. So I would stray away from that. Make sure but you have training classes, uh, you know, something like that in your copy. So it's clear so that if the, you know, cause it's right. essentially the, the ads are getting, uh, you know, automatically, uh, you know, scanned essentially for, you know, uh, you know, images of guns and, and what have you. So they have a little bit of intelligence in there. And if they can figure out that it's a safety class, it's a training class, uh, you know, typically you won't get flagged, but if it's arbitrary, uh, then they'll by default just flag it. So if like your ad is a hundred percent all an image and there's a gun in it, they, they're not going to like, you know, OCR the text and figure it out. So they're just going to uh, deny it. So, yeah. Right. And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, they're, t they're a tough nut. I have an instructor I spoke to last week who was flagged um, and has been shut down since March uh, because he put up an ad that had a firearm in it. Uh, I have gone and uh, said that I am not in agreement with Facebook on some of the things that they've uh, yanked me for. I have requested to go in front of the, the board in order to fight. And, um, you know, they're in control. They just laid off 7,000 people. So how fast do you think they're moving now? You know, so it's it's just like having an argument with the ATF. If you get denied on a firearm purchase, it could take you years to get through that. So at this point, I tend to err on the caution, uh, on the side of caution and make sure that my ads are a little bit more aesthetically on the training end as opposed to highlighting a firearm. Um, you know, you can find images out there where it's like a, a family safety kind of thing or um, whatever you do, don't put out an ad with a lady spraying pepper spray at an intruder because you'll get that knocked off as well. So it's um, funny. So are those already signed up for the essentials package absolutely leon i was hoping you would be here today because uh we wanted to be able to offer that to you as um an example so that because you've been you've been whole hog on this program since you signed up with the essentials and i'd be happy to see what we could do with you um of course i i am an uscca instructor i've been hosting cpl classes here in michigan for 15 years not always with the uscca we just converted to a uscca shop a couple years back um, prior to that we were of course an nra shop but um i'm here you know i can tell you what has worked for me what has not worked for me i can help you develop i have content developed for classes um, to, to kind of get you up and running if that's something that you're interested in. I can assure you that you will not be disappointed in uh, the package that Cloud Bedrock has to offer. It has made me, I, I showed in my presentation, a presentation or two ago, how I had missed in the course of a month 42 phone calls, which for some people may be the no, total number of phone calls you get all month. For me, um, I get 150 plus phone calls a month out of those phone calls that I missed I was able to recoup uh Jim do you remember the number I want to say it was somewhere around 24 yeah. 
Well, you no, know, it was four. You, you had 40, uh, 40 some odd missed calls that were re- right. recouped, uh, you right. know, essentially. Yeah. So, so yeah. every and single out of one that, of your missed it, calls received a text, and every single one of those you responded to. Yeah. Right. And yeah. out of those, it recouped me 24, 26 students. Um, some of them were multiple calls, some of them were telemouseketeers, whatever. But I was able to track how many of them converted into actual butts and seats. And it was, you know, $2,500 worth of sales that I would have maybe otherwise missed out on. So it's one thing to be able to look at your phone and see that you had a missed call and call them back. It's quite another thing when your phone automatically sends them a text message saying, hey, thank you for calling me. I'm sorry I missed your call. I'll be right with you. Is there anything else you want to add? Many times I will be able to respond to that while I'm already on the phone because it's amazing how many people will go to your Google page or whatever and not click any further. They just click the call button and they're like, well, what's your schedule? Well, my schedule's on my website and I just have a canned response that I send them. You know, you can visit our schedule at, and then um, many people will say, do you still have seats available for this weekend? And I'm just able to text back yes while I'm wrapping up my call. Um, when I do wrap up the call that I'm on and I call them right back, we already have an established rapport. They've already been able to look at my schedule. And that's when I do my my soft close. I, I ask them because that's another thing in, the instructors forget to do is to ask for the sale. Many times I will have people call me up and they'll ask a dozen questions and they'll ask what my schedule is. They'll ask how much class is. And then they'll say, okay, thanks. Bye. And they'll hang up. When, if I just say to them, would you like me to reserve you a seat for this weekend? Nine out of 10 times, they're going to say, yeah, yeah, I do want you to, you have to ask for the sale. So make sure you're doing that when you're making these callbacks. But I call back every single person that calls my phone. I text them. You get SMS texting uh, capability with this as well. Uh, Some of you are hosting classes with only, you know, six people in them. What does an empty seat cost you? You have to think about these things. If you can send out a text to everyone to remind them or send out an email to everyone to remind them or personally call them to remind everybody, making sure you get maximum butts and seats counts, Uh, making sure you have an adequate Google My Business page up is key for everyone. If people are on Google and 98% of people do use the Google machine to find what they're looking for, if you're not out on Google with appropriate uh, advertising, and it doesn't have to be paid advertising, it just make sure your Google My Business page is out there. They're never going to find you. I have a group, I'm working with a group of instructors, it's two gentlemen in the Chicago area. 30 days ago, they didn't even have a Google My Business page. Now they're on the second page of the Google search for instructors in their area. By next month, I anticipate them being on the first page of Google. It's just a matter of getting your information out there, making sure you meet all of Google's criteria for what is a relevant page um, and getting it out there. If you think, well, I run my business out of my home, I don't want to put my home address out there, things like that, um, that is not a reason not to be on Google My Business. You can host a Google My Business uh, page without having a physical address for uh, that page. So get yourself out there, make sure that you're marketing. If you're um, thinking about wanting to, to think more about Uh, joining the Cloud Bedrock app. Jim, we're having uh, two get-togethers here tomorrow. Uh, They're both online. It's a group event where we're going to ask people to register and maybe talk a little bit more about creating content, where it's hosted, what if I don't have a web page, what if I do have a web page. We're going to cover all of the details of creating online content. And in the meantime, I am going to, in the morning, contact again, uh, Justin and see if he can confirm that we can use online content towards our student counts. If it turns out 
that um, because there's been a couple changes at, at corporate, if it turns out that the answer is going to be no, it's still a great leader way for you to get students to your CPL classes and to other classes that you offer. Um, so I will confirm that with him in the morning. But Jim, are you going to push to everybody yeah. how they can register for our yeah, I'm going to put in the chat uh, the links because we have two times for tomorrow. So we have one at 11 a.m. Uh, uh, Eastern, Eastern Standard, yep, and and then 7 p.m. Eastern. And so uh, I'm going to put the links in there to register for either one of those, and you just you know just one or the other essentially. Um, so the first one is for the. Um, 11 a.m. And the second one, oops, and I'm sorry, I need to put an HTTPS in there. Getting old. I just made everybody dizzy by going all the way back the wrong way yeah. through my presentation so that they could. Yeah, did you did you get to the, uh, uh, the options for the different uh, courses, course ideas? Um, yeah, I, I covered that. I okay. covered it a couple of times, but okay. yeah, it's all in your, um, <laughs> I'm really good at this, aren't I? Really, really good at this uh, stuff. But yeah, these mini course, uh, the content we'll for all of this in is in your, yeah, <laughs> are in your instructor portal. So they've developed PowerPoint presentations for all of these. And so even if you're not going to get student credit for these 55 minute or less classes, still a great way to get people into your class. But I will confirm with uh, instructor support tomorrow. Yep. Does Leon's anyone have any questions? Leon's already, already ready already. He's gonna be making classes after we hang up tonight, so. Making of course classes. he is, because that's making classes. It's ridiculous, the things that you can talk about um, and gain people's interest. Uh, if you look, I've hosted, like last week, we did an interview with Marcus Weldon. He was an individual here in the metropolitan Detroit area that had a self-defense incident. Uh, Jim, they can go to, what, pewpros.com and see yep. all of our content of, yeah. of the past. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you go to pewpros.com, uh, it's just a link list. And the first link on that list um, is uh, the the membership area, which essentially is a, a place that you go and just sign up for the membership area. And that would actually give you a, uh, you know, like a student perspective uh, because the membership area we have there is uh, our replace of webinars. And so that's, you know, kind of like a class, although we don't have as many segments in there, but we just have the webinar, you know, webinar replays. Uh, there's, there's places in there where we have slides, uh, you know, PDF downloads and those kind of things. We don't have any quizzes enabled. We don't have comments enabled, but, but that same user interface is the same kind of user interface your uh, uh, prospective customers would would have Jim, so can you share the link for Walt? Uh, he wanted to do more one on one to talk about this rather than in a group. If you could share with him a link oh, yeah, where he the, could link yeah, yeah. link to sure, our schedule. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, we'd be happy to. It's just we do it in a group format because it tends to be a little easier on us. Um, I get cranky if I can't go to lunch or breakfast or dinner. Yeah, there's a <laughs> or whatever because I'm just on phone calls all day long. On, on that um that that pewpros.com, there's a book, I think it's a book time with us or something like that. And that actually goes on Doreen's calendar. Um, so she, you know, she, 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 she'll make uh, sure that it's available when she's not cranky. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. You can, you can, <laughs> it, oh, right. hangry Doreen. You don't want to even know how hangry Doreen handles things. <laughs> and um, it also lets me know, cause I can be an international lady of leisure. If I don't have a nine or 10 o'clock call, I will be uh, in my pajamas relaxing until whenever it is that I need to have a call because of course I can field phone calls for Detroit Arms uh, in my underwear. So if I don't have a phone call, I'm an international lady of leisure. So yeah, get, get on my schedule. 
Um, when would this recording be sent to us? Yeah, Jim, get on it. I don't know. I, he's gonna. <laughs> we, it has to finish. Yeah. So we typically what we just we we trim it just uh, the the you know, first part of it out. So it'll be in two places. One on YouTube automatically as soon as we end the stream uh, on the Pew Pros uh, uh, channel. And again, pewpros.com has all of our links, including our YouTube uh, link, our Facebook uh, Facebook group. Uh, so definitely make sure you uh, you get into those groups uh, and subscribe to our channel so that you get uh, notified when we we go live. We've got quite a few people uh, in the Facebook group as well, getting a lot of good discussion there. So make sure you join that. Uh, so yeah, right. so on on YouTube, uh, that's where the replay will be. Uh, but also we upload it into uh, the membership area, uh, which also gives you the opportunity to to play it like like a student would play a course that you would create uh, as well. So, yeah. Hey, Daniel, can you explain your question? It says discuss personal web pages. Can you explain uh, what you meant by that? I know a lot of instructors don't have uh, web pages for their business. I've come across that quite often. Um, I've also met with uh, instructors who have fallen into the five thousand uh, <laughs> dollar custom website trap uh, when they didn't need to, um, and other instructors who have a website but have met with local SEO, which is search engine optimization companies, who've convinced them that they need to spend five hundred dollars a month in order to get their uh, stuff seen by the world and, and none of that is true. We do have websites available via Cloud Bedrock and the ability to put websites together. It is literally drag and drop easy, things you can do in a day. Same thing with creating content. Um, I really dragged my feet on the whole uh, three hour CPL renewal class. Once I, uh, actually sat down and recorded it, which do the math, it's three hours. Um, it took literally no time to get that up and running on um, the screen. We're talking about doing, you know, how to choose your first class. That can be a 15 minute video. You can talk to your students about what your personal training is, what your philosophy is, how you handle your class. Um, I often show photographs of my facility because I have people who are concerned about sitting too close to another person. I have people who are concerned about how I'm going to sit in a chair for eight hours. Is it going to be comfortable? I have people who are concerned, is my facility handicap accessible? It is, and it gives them a familiarity of what my classroom looks like so that their um, understanding of what their day is going to look like. You have all kinds of things that you can record, short videos that you can post to Facebook, to uh, any kind of video that you put up on a portal that people can either join for free or pay to watch. But it is a great way to get your information out there get people comfortable with your teaching style and get clients. I can see, can cover one of these. Creating a personal web page and if it has value, I want to control my own. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And in, in fact, the stuff that you do for um, class right now, like when you go on to the USCCA, you probably push them to your USCCA page. The, um, websites that cloud bedrock it's just like a wix or just like jim can you kind of cover how that's all handled yeah yeah so it's it's a uh you know kind of a codeless uh you know drag and drop very easy to use uh editor that allows you to build your websites up uh really quickly uh it includes uh access to a bunch of um uh, you know, public domain images as well, uh, including, you know, firearm images and ammo and all that kind of stuff. So you can quickly uh, get a, a site up and running, uh, includes these uh, SSL certificates. So you don't have to buy that. It's, it's you know, just use a web page, oh, uh, a web browser to edit it. Uh, super easy to use. Um, and that's included in our, our special. So normally the funnels and websites are in the professional plan. We moved the funnels, websites, and memberships to the uh, 
uh, to the essentials plan as part of this uh, offer. Yeah, and so, we'll, we'll, we could probably do some demos on that uh, tomorrow as uh, as well. Uh, we'll we'll do like some quick uh, uh, views of how to do a, a funnel, what what a funnel looks like, uh, what a, just a general website looks like, um, and then there was also a question on uh, suggestions for uh, a screen cam and those kind of things. So we can cover that. Uh, tomorrow, just some of the tools, and we'll put we'll put together a list, and we'll actually include that in a uh, in the members area uh, uh, that will essentially give you access to uh, 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 you know tips and tricks and tools that are available. You don't need to spend the, the, the most important thing is you don't need to go off and buy uh, you know dedicated computers and crazy equipment, especially when you're doing uh, mostly just screen captures of your. Uh, PowerPoint uh, or keynote uh, slides. Uh, there's free, uh, plenty of free options uh, just for that. About the only thing that would be helpful is a, is a decent microphone. And we'll throw some examples of uh, things that you can get uh, that are anywhere from, you know, under a hundred dollars to, you know, you know, over and above. It's, am <laughs> it's amazing how many content creators actually just use their cell phone. Um, as long as you're able to properly light the room that you're in, and of course you can see what that looks like when you um, turn your camera around so you can see what you're projecting out there. But as long as people are able to understand what you're saying and see you or not even see you, as long as they can hear you, uh, you've, you've got it down. You've got it down. As far as um, is there a monthly subscription, you just pay as you go it's it's a monthly thing if you're not seeing the return that you want to see on it cancel but i can guarantee you um you're going to see the results really quickly um with how people are attracted to doing online learning uh if it puts one extra butt in seat for you that's probably going to at least pay for half of, of what it's costing you a month so absolutely um People, do people rent an office? It, you know, people handle things differently. When Detroit Arms first started doing CPL classes, we had partnered with a range that had a classroom that we utilized at the range. Then uh, we got our own facility because we decided we were going to go into business and sell uh, all of the things that somebody who's looking for personal protection would want. We sold guns, we sold holsters, we sold tactical pens and flashlights and all of that. And then uh, I had an FFL. And then one day I decided retail was just too much. I would rather just focus on training. Now I have a classroom. There are plenty of instructors who will rent out a room in a hotel. They rent out a conference room in a hotel. I have other instructors uh, that utilize the group room at their church or at the VFW hall, or um, some restaurants have rooms that you can use for free. Hmm. Um, all kinds of, excuse me, all kinds of uh, ways to find a place to host your class. You just have to kind of get a little resourceful. I will tell you that every, pretty much every real estate office has a conference room in their facility. Uh, it may not be a bad idea to reach out to some of the realtor offices around you and maybe barter in exchange for giving them, uh, all of their agents, giving them the 55 minute lecture on real estate safety that maybe you can utilize their uh, room on a weekend to host a class, all sorts of resources out there for finding a place to host a class. The most important one, though, is finding a place to shoot at the range. And that tends to be the hardest part for uh, USCCA instructors. Yeah, that's one of the nice things about the, the non-shooting courses is, is, is that, right? It gives you an, uh, an opportunity uh, to one, do the online uh, courses and get some income flowing in uh, to cover, you know, expenses uh, uh, so that you can, uh, yeah, at, at some point work your way into a, a place. But definitely don't, <laughs> don't go rent a place until you're ready to do that. It is a very cyclic business. So you want to make sure that you have uh, multiple streams of income um, uh, to, uh, you know, make that work. 
All right, any other questions for anyone? I'm hoping to see uh, a number of you on our call uh, tomorrow. I've got two of them scheduled. You can, of course, reach out. Jim's put the links up there. He will send everyone a copy of this recording uh, so that you're able to rewatch it, make some notes, whatever. Reach out, uh, get on our calendar. I'm happy to help anyone. And uh, we, I hope to see everyone again real soon. So sign up for our group, sign up for one-on-one, -on -one, but I hope you found this helpful. And uh, I hope to see everyone again real soon. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you for joining us.